What's going on guys? Isaac Baylor here, back with an eight hundred dollar gaming slash live streaming build. For the processor I'm with an AMD Ryzen 5 1600 3.2 gigahertz six core processor. And if you want to choose an i5 just because you're an Intel fan or you just really like the uh or you just really like Intel processors for whatever reason. But I just went with this because it's a good processor that'll give you the same uh, <sighs> scatterbrain today. It'll give you the same performance as an i5, but it has an extra two processing cores, so that adds on to the live streaming. But if you want to save some money and bump it down to the Ryzen 5 1500X or the 1500. If you're just gaming, then that's perfectly fine. The motherboard and all this will work with it. For the mother, I didn't choose a CPU cooler because the uh, 1600 comes with one. For the motherboard, I went with MSI B350 PCMA ATX AM4 motherboard. It has four SATA 3.0 ports. Uh, supports DDR4 memory up to 3200 megahertz. 64 gigabytes of memory supported, RAID, crossfire, crossfire, no SLI support, onboard Ethernet, and onboard USB 3 headers. For the memory, I went with Crucial Ballistic Sport LT, 8 gigabyte, 1 gigabyte of DDR4 2400, or 1 8 gigabyte stick of DDR4 2400 memory. I just chose the one stick because it was about $10 cheaper than the two 4 gigabyte sticks. But I did this too, so you could upgrade to 16 gigabytes without filling up all your RAM slots later down the line. And if you want to swap this RAM out for a different company of RAM or anything like that, you can. It really doesn't make a difference. For storage, I chose a PNY CS 1311 120 gigabyte SSD. I can personally vouch for this SSD because that's what I have in my. PC and so far after six months it has served me no problems whatsoever and if you really want to upgrade it to a 240 or 480 or if you really want to a 960 gigabyte you can but I added in a Western Digital, Western Digital Caviar Blue 1 terabyte 7200 RPM internal hard drive for backup games or older games or just recording that you may have and you can upgrade this to a two or three terabyte if you're recording live streams or recording gameplay if you really need to or else you just have a lot of games and you can get more than one terabyte the video card I want an Asus Radeon RX 580 4 gigabyte dual video card I mainly went with this one because it was actually in stock because all video cards are out of stock or way overpriced above five hundred dollars for a five eighty or a ten sixty and a ten seventy being upwards of six hundred dollars now due to ethereum mining but if you don't know much about that then just look it up if you really want to but this asus card was about the only one in stock on pc part picker out of all these websites without being over $400 so I just went with that but if you want to get an 8 gigabyte I would wait another one or two months for them to come back into stock and Ethereum and Bitcoin mining to go back down in their lonely dark hole for the case I went with uh, Vantex N3 Pro M ATX mid tower case this will offer you all the cooling that you need all the expansion that you need all the room that you need and plus it has a five and five and a quarter inch bay that I would personally get now because I love watching older movies but I can't really do that unless you watch them online but that's just kind of a hassle if you already have the disc and if you want to have like a fan controller or anything like that later down the line you can that'll make it easy for the power supply I'm with the EVGA Supernova Next 650 watt 80 plus gold certified fully modular ATX power supply. This will give you all the wattage that you need for this system because the system only takes up 
probably about 400 watts at like max unless you overclock some of this stuff but I would just recommend overclocking the graphics card because the CPU really won't give you that much more performance it will but if you're not going to buy an aftermarket cooler then I wouldn't worry about it and this thing is fully modular so you won't have any clutter of cables in your build at all and this will offer you all that you need for your power and anyway come back subscribe like the video check out some more videos please and have a good day Here we go.